Let's do one of the main quests. Broken Sky. Um, where do I have to go then? I cleared that one. All the way over there, okay. Let's see, uh, fast travel to here. Uh, travel, yes. Fighter jets. Wow. Oh, stupid. The ancient ruin turned into a Tanakh stronghold. Could Ether be inside? Poking around is uh, easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Can't I just walk up to it? Hey. Uh, this F-38 Razor Wing is one of only four surviving planes used by Joint Task Force 10 during the Hot Zone Crisis. A sixth-generation VTOL multi-role combat aircraft, it was designed for air superiority, strike missions, close air support, electronic warfare, and intelligence gathering. Kindly donated to the museum by the... Medina Society uh, for Southwestern History. Oh, that's nice. Tour script. Well, hello and welcome to the Holo Tour of the Mojave Battlefield Memorial Museum. This tour will guide you through all of the museum's exhibitions, giving you a broad insight into the hot zone crisis and the tragic battle that took place on these very grounds. If you wish to start indoors, press 1. If you wish to proceed directly to the crater exhibit, press 2. But before stepping outside, make sure you are properly protected from dust and heat and help any children in your party. Data corrupted. Okay. Anything else? Something over there. And there's something over there as well. Oh, that's just a... Uh... We are made of steel. We will not yield. Hello? Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember <sighs> the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. I think you know. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Come. I think it's hot. The visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the chief. Visions? These visions. You said they're the records of the ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. 
passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Okay. Hikaru wants Hikaru want to see me. We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With, with us. us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Okay. Chaplain? What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. <laughs> you can see for yourself when we go inside. Okay. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. Can I can I watch the visions first? Or no. I don't think so. Data console. There's a lot of stuff here. Data console. Wait. Uh, what's the origin of ex Executive Order 20363073H, which used congressionally granted emergency powers to mandate the evacuation of most counties in the region outside of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix? Displaced families and individuals would be moved to temporary camps before places could be found for them in habitable areas. To enforce the order, the government threatened to nullify existing water agreements between the northwest and southeast, essentially turning off the taps with a so-called tri-state hot zone. To its supporters, 73H was a humanitarian effort designed to preserve resources and help climate-stricken southwestern families start new lives. To its opponents, the order was a clear bait-and-switch. The federal government had broken its deal with Medina in a greedy land grab that employed eminent domain to seize mining claims. At the, uh, at the same time, it would place southwestern refugees in fenced-in camps, which were quickly disparaged as 73 Hell, a provision that incited immediate... It's glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's the chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as, as best we can. Joint Force 10 active. Led by Cameron. These weapons were only in the battle. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Well, okay. Anything else here? Um, I don't want to miss anything. Staff instructions. Hi Andy, could you please inform relevant staff in maintenance, hosting and security of the following new opening and closing protocols? I've already briefed Ryder and Shania at Musek. Thank you, Micah, Mika. Opening the gallery rooms. 
Holographic display should all be live 15 minutes before opening time. Inspect showcases for smudges and wipe off. Wipe with dry cloth if necessary. Inspect outdoor areas for temperature and humidity. Closing the gallery room. Make sure the cleaning robots have finished their sanitation rounds. Double check for restocking of supplies. Sign off on cleaning, usually with NAD. Escort cleaners to staff entrance. Final rounds hand over to night security through music. Exit through staff entrance. Can I? Man versus machine. Exhibit shows holographic representations of all cheese seven cheese cheese in sorry for all seven cheese in battle drone models deployed <laughs> during the conflict. JGF joined Task Force Ten, I think. Rapidly made a mockery of Chi Sin's non-lethal approach in engagement after engagement, whether it was a surprise artillery barrage from the frigid slopes of Gold Mountain north of Big Bear Lake, or a desert ambush near the solar plants in the Nevada desert, see Nevada, uh, or a wingsuit jump into the jungles of Colombia to stop an attack on a rare earth convoy, JGF-10 soldiers repeatedly Proof that state-of-the-art AI and newfangled weapons were no match for human cunning and data corrupted. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. <sighs> okay. I got that one all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next. What's that? New data point. Oh, that's on the... Oh. Damn, there's a lot of stuff to see here. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. We must have passed through their territory on the way here. They did. They sound a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. Do they? Okay. I don't think that's... Got that one. Okay, next. Hi, Annie, can you have a closing? Yeah, I got that one. Red lightning. Still not used to seeing that. What's this? Uh. It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Okay. Okay. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy hey, until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Okay. Excuse me, what did you say? Let me first uh, get all this. New data point. Oh my god, scroll. Carefully written gotcha glyphs with Fasha's personal mark, evidently part of a diary or journal. From Decca, the, oh god, 
the wise and patient chaplain of the Lowland clan, I finally learned the answer to a question that had very long that had long vexed me. Before my capture, the only Tanakh I ever had a conversation with, if one could call it that, was a prisoner at Sunstone Rock, who spoke of taking the blood of chill and children of her enemies as her own. Her rant seemed to confirm the lurid stories from the, about the Tanakh I had read in my youth. Yet, in all my time in the Forbidden West, I have never seen such barbaric practices. I wanted to know if there was truth to the prisoner's words. There was. Those were the old ways, Decker Decla clarified, dating from the constant warfare between clans of years past, since the ascension of Chief Hakaro. Such practices have been outlawed, though not completely abolished. A few stray recalcitrants and exiles still cling to them. Intriguingly, the acts themselves were never as malicious as the cards you portrayed them to be. Tasting the blood of a fallen foe was meant to honor their martial deeds. And orphan children were taken from conquered settlements to be raised as equal members of their new clan, which was considered to be a merciful outcome. I cannot help but see myself in this context, an orphan of sorts, taken in by a new tribe. It hasn't been easy, and there are still those in the clan lands who would reject me. Still, the more I learn about my new people, the more I see a nobility that the Karcha have omitted from their records. Okay, interesting, interesting. And that one. Uh, black box exhibit. Exhibit allows us to hear the final moments using an interface donated by Sterling Malkeed. We can listen to any flight recorded that employs the industry standard FVR encryption protocol. Version 3.5.4 or later, simply place a black box in the interface to listen to its context its contents. Please maintain a respectful silence as you hear the voices of the fallen. Please, Outlander. Could you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but first... Um, to whom it may concern, my late husband Kana Mongrove perished with Roberto Medina at the Battle of the Mojave. When his last leave was hastily recalled, he left his duffel bag at the house. It holds the usual items, shirts, pants, undergarments, toiletries, but also devices with data. Snaps of his unit a collection of maps and marching orders, including the one ordering his squad to join Medina. He even kept a couple of small, small cheese and drone parts we think he took as souvenirs. Connor proudly spoke of taking down several. We were wondering, would the machine be interested in sad items for the collection? The family would feel honored if his memory is thus preserved. Respectfully yours, Kate Mungrove Brown. Anything else here? Guess not. Let's, uh... What do you have to say? You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaran Delver. She was trying to steal it, and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. Zero Dawn. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. I already have one. Sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers. We will honor them. I've already found a recording. 
I'll take any you find. Let me give you something for it. Okay. Okay. These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. Let's hope so. Let me know when you have one that. Do you get many Osram Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who'll risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Okay. Why collect these voices? Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. This is the way. I'll be on my way then. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. That was a big head, head nod. Nod. Okay, let's uh, let's continue on. Detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Data console. There's also one over there. Uh, welcome to the Hall of Heroes. This room is dedicated to the memories of Roberto Medina, who financed and led the campaign against the federal government and its fleet of General Synth Synthetics Battle Drones, Colonel Edward de la Hoya, commander of JTF-10, the brilliant strategist and veteran soldier who held off numer numerically superior federal forces, Colonel Anne Faraday, the legendary orator who oversaw early reconciliation efforts, and all of those who lost their lives during the campaign and at the Battle of the Mojave. Okay. Why isn't this working? This doesn't work. Is there anything else here? The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Not really, but... I'm ready. Good. Come. Come. I really love the way that this looks. Don't tell me it's a hologram. It's underneath the throne. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. Thank you. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. Huh. 
is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Uh... Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. Well... I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal Slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone. You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Dakota, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Oh, I have so many questions. See? <laughs> I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good This wasn't really a question, man. but a bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian, that peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? In exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our I flesh. love his voice. But the Jesus. Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. Who oh, is this voice? As I learned from Fashar, he will be missed. I love his deep voice. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals. The point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? 
If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. You know, his voice reminds me a lot like, um, what is it? Uh, the Lion King, Mufasa, with, uh, you are my son. So, what exactly who is, is this? Wait. Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one. Uh, Hekaro. Who voices that is Hekaro? My made manifest in the cool route. Each Gino, must send contestants whenever Gino I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by oh. combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those Career. who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Oh wow. He actually played Mufasa in The Lion King in an Australian production. That's you called them peacekeepers, but That's the cool. marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parley with other tribes. Parley! Them, I cannot rule, which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, oh protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. The Their Bulwark. commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Good. Why me? Can I send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respects strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Katalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Oh. Whether they respect him or not, Katalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. Okay. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years. Killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Kaya dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. Okay. What did they say? What did they say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. 
It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Mm, okay. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Okay. Losing light. Gonna be dark outside. Uh, uh, among these was Colonel Edward de la Hoya, commander of GHEF 10, a deeply charismatic officer with the family ties to Roberto Medina. De la Hoya grew up near the Arizona Nevada border and was responsible for having the task force base near T Tucson. Several of his subordinates had families in the area, all of them were apoplectic eclectic about 73H, despising it as an unforgivable federal overreach. The threat of being driven off their land, no matter how uninhabitable it had become, resonated with soldiers throughout the unit and beyond, many of whom were from conservative states or areas affected by climate change. As the Merasur agreement took shape, Medina consulted with the La Jolla, who then took the case to his top lieutenants. Everybody agreed that the federal government was likely to send drones against the water fleet. De La Hoya, who came to prominence as a pilot, told the others that he was prepared to single-handedly take on the drone squadron in... Okay, data corrupted. Okay. What the hell was that? What the hell is that? The arena is closed. Turn back. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, the job went to end Faraday, born and raised in the hot zone, Needles, California, and a colonel at the Air Force. When De La Hoya instigated the takeover of bases in the region, she had been a dissenter and so didn't fight in the war, but was instrumental in peacefully evacuating other neutral personnel. During the conflict, she became one of the nation's leading voices for a non-violent solution which, combined with a familiarity with the region and military background, made her credible to both sides. Three months into her appointment, Faraday gave an address to Congress, ostensibly as a progress report, but eventually a ringing statement of purpose. She transcended her usual plain spoken military directness, passionately highlighting the need for community and un unity in the face of an uncertain future dominated by climate change and increased automation. It became it came to be regarded as one of the most finest moments in oratory in Data Corrupted. Okay. Outdoor exhibits. To all guests of the museum, please remember to wear light protective clothing when visiting the outdoor exhibits. Dust, goggles, gloves, and shades and respiratory respiratory masks are available free of charge at the service desk near the corridor. The crater area has been scrubbed of all radioactive materials and is therefore completely safe. Well, that's good. Uh, outdoor exhibits, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I still can't do anything with this, but... Ok. 
Okay, that's okay. Black box of exhibit, that one I have, the memorial grove I have. Right. Right? Right? Um God. One sec. My um my thing, my headset is almost out of battery. Okay, I think we're safe. The memorial. Um, okay. I already had this one. Let's get out of here then. I have that one. Uh, 73H. Staff instructions. I had the one, right? Yeah, I had that one. Okay. Anything here? Left that I didn't get. I have that one man versus machine. Hakaro. I have to talk to you. But not yet. Is there anything else that I can get here? Uh, Tour script, I have that one, F38, race rowing. I think this was everything I could get. Data console. Yeah, I think this was it. The Memorial Grove. Up there. Where am I? The memorial grove. Black box collector. Why did it say say that? Ow. Here, the memorial grove. What? But can I? I can't get in though. Hmm. Curious. Come, let us speak. Okay, let us speak. Hikaru said you have something for me. A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Okay. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. All right. Thank you. Hello. Uh, these powerful arrows deal high chair damage with a compressed air blast. Use them to remove armor plates from tough opponents or detach useful components. That's cool. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. Oh wait. I think that's this place. Mm. Can I go in here? Am I allowed to go in here? Gates are shut. I guess I'll have to come back later. Why? Uh, Pyre Hunter. They deliver fire payloads when upgraded. Its impact area deals additional damage to enemies in a burning state. Hmm. 
Oh! For a second there, I lost my video. Let's save. And then meet Cortello at Stonecrest. Damn, we learned a lot of backside information. 